about love and making the most of each moment and invite South Africans to sing and dance. As you can see, well, they do, they do invite us to sing and dance. The name is Sarki. Well, they're a rock band called Sarki and the latest uh, uh, title single is called Rondom Tali and they're a female band and is made up of Adele Fouché and Naila uh, Buota and more recently started performing with bassist Angelo uh, Roman. Well, the trio join us now to tell us more about their their latest project, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Great, Good. thank you. I want to start with you. I mean, how did this band come about, Sarki? So I was grade 10 and I, I watched a movie called Josie and a Pussycat. And yeah. it was about a girl band. And then I told Lila, my, my best friend from school, I want to start a band, mm. you know? And she said, okay, let's do it, you know? So that's how it took off. And the name, I want to talk about the name. How did the name come about? Wow, Lila, you can explain it nicely. Yeah, yeah. so when we were in grade 10, you know, um, Afrikaans name, very popular name is Sarki, but we were a bunch of girls in school, so we couldn't name our, name our band, band Trumpi, because Trumpi is the boy version. So, yeah, basically Sarki came from there, and yeah, we made a spelling mistake, and it's with a K-I-E for those that's Afrikaans watching. Yeah. I just want to say Sarki was, um, there was a, a books yeah. when we were young, young girls, and the books uh, names was Sarki, so yeah. it was sort of from that time, you know. And um, what's been the highlight of embarking on this journey? Sure, I think when we went to Australia, New Zealand, and we played for the South Africans there. Yeah, and we, what we was their response there? It was so nice, yeah. oh, they, you know, they, it really touched me, you know, mm. I could see they, they miss us here, this side. Yeah, I want to bring... Um, you into the conversation uh, come through for me Roman so we're gonna give you that mic there we go you joined the band recently tell us a little bit about that yes well um, I recently just started like in back in November last year so yeah I started touring with them and it's been a very good time yeah. yeah how did that come about how did you join the band uh, I think they saw me on social media and they were like he had a pink, he had a pink bandana on and we thought, you know, there's so little bassist, female bassist out there and we mm. really needed someone. And the closest thing to a female bassist is an awesome 16 year old with a pink bandana. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, um, how's that been? I mean, you joined them in November. Tell us a little bit, how did, how's it been so far? It's been amazing. Yeah. Playing on this new track called Rontum Tali has been, was amazing. In the studio, definitely something yeah. I do. Talk to us about this new single that we that we are uh, performing today, Rondo Mutali. What is it about? Yeah, so we're very excited about this song. So we've been performing it for about a year, mm. and uh, it, we weren't planning on recording it. And then after shows, we started getting Instagram and Facebook messages saying, where can we find this song? Where can we find this song? And um, Adele wrote this song. You know, you get a lot of ups and downs in this world and in your time. And um, then all of a sudden you meet someone and you wonder, why has this person not always been there? I mean, it feels like this person has been there all the time. You've probably been in varsity together. And, um, yeah, you wonder, why, where is this person been? And you finally met this person yeah. after all these years. What's the direct translation to what Rondom Tali is? A lot of people ask us that. I think it is merry-go-round, eh? It's a merry-go-round of ups and downs during life, you know? Merry-go-round, eh? Yeah. yeah. Let's that's try and well, give that's her the it. metaphor. Yeah. For it. See if she can have the mic as well, a delicate. But you are, oh no, she's not mic'd. All right. So you wrote the song. Yes. Now, what was the inspiration behind the song? Well, I think um, I looked at a picture of a circle of life of Lion King mm. and it, it was round and then something in me said, well, you know, that's how the life flows. We are all in the circle of life together, you know, in this looking for sun in our lives, you know, yeah. to shine. And then um, I, I met this person and I was like, it feels like this person has always been there in the circle of my life and how can I, how can I express this way, circle of life, you know, without saying, ah, <laughs> Sabanya, <laughs> yeah. So I, I thought about America around. Mm. Yes. And I want to talk about you guys, you're planning a tour to New Zealand and Australia. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. Leila, tell us. Yeah, so we're very excited. We've been there just before COVID in 2019 for Afrikaans to Afrikaans' is lacquer. And uh, what was quite amazing, we asked them if we can go a bit earlier and they gave us five weeks in advance. So we were like, what are we going to do five weeks mm. you know, in a different country? And we emailed places and we arranged our own, uh, before, you know, our own gigs and all that. So we're looking forward in 2023, we'll be heading back to New Zealand and Australia to go and, you know, 
show the country what we've got for them. That's exciting. Okay, so how, f how soon can we expect a full album? Well, pretty soon. We're in studio now, so I'm sure Adele wants to rush it. We've got, a, we've got an amazing gig on the 16th of November in the Atterbury Theatre in Pretoria, which we're very excited for. And she said she wants to launch the album before that. I think it's impossible, but yeah, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about those plans for the, uh, the album and, you know, how far are the plans? I mean, you, uh, you have an ambitious plan to launch it very soon. <laughs> how far is everything Okay, so to be really honest, <laughs> we are now at, I think, song number four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, what I've, I've realized over time we're in the music industry, or oh, I think they, yeah, things happen more slower than in the real world, you yeah. know. If you say, are we going to write an album? Um, rather think in your head this year, because maybe the next year you'll have an album. You right. <laughs> so it's more... But we all were so inspired in this, uh, after the lockdown, you know, in lockdown we realized what we lost to gig life for people. It's, it's so nice, you know, we miss the interaction of the people, the energy, you know, when, when we start to gig and, and you look at the people's faces and how it lights up and dance, you want to dance with them and it's just, yeah. we miss that. So I think the inspiration came just, you know, in lockdown and after lockdown we were like, no. Yeah, we need to make music now. So that's where the dream. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, more performances from them. Band members Adal here, uh, Fouché, Lila Botave, and then uh, Angelo uh, Roman speaking to us about their latest single, Rontum Dali. The song is about uh, making uh, people dance and is about love and making the most of each moment. All right. Quick ad break. They'll play us out on SABC2 after this. Stay with us. Enjoy the beefy local flavor of the delicious new Blitzbox Big Burry Burger from McDonald's. Get it today. Taste the victory. It's been a year of trials and tribulations. And it's also been a year of hope 